boys and girls and my dear teachers i am sheikh mahbub basha welcome to my channel happy learning today's topic is refraction of light at the curved surface consider a paper weight basically it is made up of glass it is a denser medium with respect to air as the rarer medium a light ray is entering from air into glass that is from rarer medium to denser medium the interface of air and glass is curved let us consider a curved interface which separates a rarer medium and a denser medium let it be rarer medium this one denser medium the sphere that covers the curved surface and the center c will be the center of curvature of the curved surface and the midpoint of the curved surface is the pole the line joining c and p is the principal axis any line drawn from the center of curvature on to the curved surface will be the radius of the sphere hence it will be perpendicular to the curved surface here when a light ray is incident on the curved surface what do you think of its path in the other medium will it pass along the same straight path or will it pass through the center of curvature or will it pass through some other direction let us quickly recollect the law called as snell's law this is a light ray passing along a straight path a light ray passes in a straight line provided there is no change of medium if there is a change of medium then the direction of ray also changes and this phenomenon is called refraction of light here is the rarer and denser mediums this one is incident ray normal at the point of interface the refracted ray the angle between incident ray and normal is called the angle of incidence and is represented by the symbol i and the angle between the normal and the refracted ray is called the angle of refraction and is represented by the letter r the ray changes its path at the interface angle of incidence i and angle of refraction r are not equal the relation between i and r is given by the mathematical expression n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r and this is called as snell's law now what would be the case if the incident ray is normal to the interface of the two media here is the light ray incident normally on the interface in case of normal incidence the ray travels without any refraction now let us think of the curved surface a convex surface of denser medium look at this ray the ray is aiming towards the center of curvature what do you think of its path in the other medium let's see the ray continues its straight path along the center of curvature c it is all due to the normal incidence here the angle of incidence is zero and the angle of refraction is also zero when a light ray passes parallel to the principal axis what do you think of its path in the denser medium
the light ray follows the Snell's law n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r the ray bends towards the normal now when the light ray passes from denser to rarer again the ray follows Snell's law n2 sin i is equal to n1 sin r the ray bends away from the normal now let us think of the curved surface a concave surface of a denser medium the light ray is passing from denser to rarer at the concave interface here the light ray follows the Snell's law n2 sin i is equal to n1 sin r the ray bends away from the normal now the ray is falling from rarer to denser once again the ray follows the Snell's law n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r is obeyed the ray bends towards the normal if you like the video please give a thumb up for more videos subscribe my channel happy learning and don't forget to press the bell icon